Good morning guys, uh, today I have a special project to do, the berry patch, I'm finally going to work on it, I've got some tin up here, I actually got it to uh, do right around that garden with tin, haven't got around to it because there's that much harvesting, planting, everything to do in the gardens these days, that is just too much, it's kind of like a winter project, so I've stolen some of that tin, probably going to chop it in half or maybe even in uh, thirds, and I'm going to mow this, I'm going to dig down a little bit deep and then I'm going to put it, screw it onto the wall over top of that tin. When I originally built this, I just built it all level, all the way around and I kind of left gaps all around the bottom and the dirt has just been slowly uh, going out. As you can kind of see in here, the dirt was to the top now it's like to the bottom of that wood and it gets even worse when you come down here by the red currents over here the dirt's just slowly going that way so I'm losing all my dirt so I'm going to see how far I can get to today with this and I at least want to do this perimeter here and if I can do the back that would be great So this has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would take me. I thought it would be up to like the next bit by now but uh, look how deep I've had to make this trench to kind of um, get the ribs on the other tin that I've cut in half to actually match. Yeah, it's a mission. I keep having to put it in, see where it's touching, take it out, dig some more out. Yeah, not fun, especially in this boiling hot sun. So that's all screwed on now, it's just a matter of getting all this dirt, pushing it back over and uh, then I can bring the seat back and make it look pretty again. The one thing I did do that uh, I don't regret because I had to do this but I actually had to chop a root that was going into the strawberry patch, it was quite a big root um, off this paw paw that was going across but um, it had to be done so yeah it's just a sacrifice that has to be sacrificed okay put this across and then morning tea i reckon look at that it looks like i wasn't even here it just looks like the same as it was before okay go for morning tea come back down a bit later get onto that back wall so i'm back down here it is still really hot but I'm hoping being in here I'm going to be kind of semi in the shade and the more the sun goes over the more I should be in the shade so this is like the worst bit of the berry patch like there's even light coming through down the bottom there so much soil is getting lost down here and then just washed away so it's not that good at all so I've dug my mighty trench that has taken me at least two hours to dig not an easy task and so and so awkward to work in in this little tight environment down here but I think I'm ready to start putting some tin there so I'm going to grab the one I have cut and then see how much more I have to actually cut to reach the end of there. See so yeah, this has taken me a long time but it'll be worth it in the long run.
So it's the next day, very good morning to you. Um, I've got a little bit of a problem here. I've got some geese up in the food forest, so I've got some food here. And pretty much, just need to shake it and they should come. Here, goose, 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 goose. I don't know how they're getting out. I'm hoping through the cataracts, just put some junk in front of it. Um, and then they won't get out anymore. Cause I'm a little bit worried. They're gonna eat those uh, young seedlings up here. They haven't yet, but they will. So they've got to go back where they belong. And all it takes is one of the kids to leave one of these garden gates open and it's all over. The whole garden, probably an hour, be all eaten. So that was reasonably easy. I'm just uh, worried that they're getting out somewhere here. I have put some rubbish in front <laughs> to prevent, they probably would just jump over it. But um, hopefully that keeps them in just for now, just so I can get some stuff done and not have to worry about them eating out a whole food forest up there. So now let's go get up to uh, the task at hand. This should be the final piece of the puzzle. This end here, it's the longest piece, so it's gonna take me probably the longest to do. But I'm gonna mow this, and then I'm gonna dig down, I'm gonna put the tin, and I'm gonna say, job finished. <laughs> if you can see in here, you can see how much the soil's gone down in the berry patch. Those are all uh, red currants over there. Uh, yeah, so there's quite a lot of filling to do once I've finished this. Quite a lot of soil I gotta buy. See, it's not cheap, this whole task I'm doing now. But uh, the tin I've had lying around, so all I've had to do this weekend is buy screws. So luckily it's an inexpensive task. So anyway, let's get mowing. So just as I was finishing on the fence there, there is a paper wasp nest. And they were going for me because I pretty much line trimmed their little nest so I had to make a runner. I've pretty much done this. I need to get that plastic um, over there somewhere and I need to kind of uh, clear all this grass clippings away. Um, it is wanting to rain on me so hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about all these nests. There's about, I've counted about 10 paper wash nests around the place so yeah, I need to go around with some uh, fly spray or something, maybe on my bee suit, and uh, kill them. So the rain has decided to stop me from working for now. I've been spading just a little bit, and then it uh, started raining. So I'm sort of hiding down here in the greenhouse. Hopefully this rain's not gonna take too long. Uh, what I've got, what I was gonna show you down here is my seedlings that the kids planted. So we've got our legs coming up, all our beetroots, kales, some of the cows, I don't know, every time I get them from King Seed, only sort of half of them tend to um, come up. But yeah, we've got all our onions coming up. The white onions, i got no idea what's going on there. Might need to plant some more. That might be just down to the kids, maybe. But all the lettuces, fennels, cauliflowers, all that, they seem to be coming up. And with the chilies and peppers, remember how I said in that video, the I left them in the greenhouse and they sort of got really hot and probably died well none of them have come up at all none of the chilies and the peppers and eggplants none of them except for the black eggplant so I don't know the black one must be hardy or something but yeah for now I'm just gonna wait till this rain stops or else it's gonna have to happen during the week because uh, yeah definitely don't want to be working in the rain rains really good for the garden so I'm thankful for the rain just the timing of it could have happened like once I've finished the job. So I've dug this trench down here and I've got my bit of tin here. Um, it's not it's not perfect. 
but I think as long as it stops the dirt from coming out, I am happy. So I ran out of juice on my battery, so I guess I better go up, uh, have some morning tea and then meet you guys back down here. So I just came down with a new battery for the drill, intending to go and finish that job done over there and then it started really bucketing down and I bring the tractor down too, so we're going to have to try to get that back up. I've just planted some uh, white spotto seeds and some yellow passion fruit seeds. Thank you very much Faye for giving us those, um, hopefully they all come up. And we've got some more from the fruit that we're going to plant too. Uh, yeah, we need to fill our food forest with lots of different uh, fruits. So anything from anyone is definitely welcome. So me and little Theo down here has been giving me a hand. We are going to try to get out of this rain and go up the top. And I think that's us for the day. I think we're going to call it a day, Theo. Yeah. I don't think this rain's going to stop at all. So for now, Theo and Luke out. <laughs>